Kill them all quickly. Okay, uh, if you remember last time, um, you had discovered Bellic's lab. Uh, you fought a bunch of goblins. Um, you'd fought a hobgoblin. You'd fought the goblin or the gardener, and you fought a fire snake, and you cleared all the uh, little garden rooms. And yeah. the room to the north has a door in the uh, southwest. And we took a long rest, right? Right before we uh, quit. Yeah. I have second level spells now. Ooh. I have spells now. I can cast more spells. Ooh, plus I have my uh, ambusher. Oh, I get all sorts of nice stuff now. Hooray for level three. Yeah, I can use two sorcerer points to cast, cast an orb of darkness I can see through. Yeah, that's cool. And they can also quicken the spell to make it a uh, bonus action. So I guess we should go check out that door. We we, we did make sure that there was uh, no going down this little quarter. Or not so much. Yeah, I think we, uh, we went. Which one? The one where the rats were, I think it was. The main rats or whatever. Uh, yes. Okay. Then yes, I mean, unless there's a hidden door we forgot to look for somewhere, that is our next logical place. Hey, I'm logged into Fantasy Grounds, but I don't see the map or anything. Do I need to log out and log back in, or what? Did you uh, open it yourself? You should Sorry? It now. Oh yeah, it's, it's there now. You can always go into your character sheet and double-click on your token icon on the top of your character sheet, that'll take you to whatever map your token is current. And that's the northern one. Uh, yes, and just as a, uh, the northern room there, all it contains is uh, just a variety of uh, sickly looking plants. And I'm going to bring Shannon along just in case. <laughs> okay, so is everyone done leveling? Yep, I am. I don't think I had to do much. I, I just uh, increased my hit points and I'm not sure if there was anything else. Level one's pretty easy in five years. Yeah, I had to change one of the cantrips. I was wrong on what I picked for them, right? Okay, so who wants to check or open the door? Not it. The blueberry of doom should just charge through. I'll check for, um... First, uh, any noise? Wait, wh which door? Cause I'm, I'm on the opposite side of uh, whichever door. Oh wait, I see the, the one with the little triangle. Okay, yeah. Got it. Okay, so I will uh, check for any noises and traps. Okay, uh, Nidalak, uh, you're not seeing, uh, or hearing anything come from, uh, 
the other side of the room. Tempest, uh, you're not seeing any traps, and the door appears to be unlocked. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll open it. Okay, and first of all, you see a part of a room, and it curves to the east. And uh, you can see from your vantage point these uh, dragon-carved granite blocks lining the chamber walls and ceiling. A lot of them are crumbled and broken, and there's some debris on the floor. And as you uh, move in closer, you see a huge marble statue of a rearing red dragon standing in the curve of the western wall. The eye sockets of the dragon are empty, but you see a red glow lingering there. And it's providing this reddish light throughout the entire chamber. And the radiance create or cast an inky shadow behind the statue's wide wings. And you can see a five foot diameter circular tile of dark stone is set in the floor in the front of the dragon statue. And ruins are carved along the circular tile's inner edge. Hey, he, I somewhere I think you should stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Erky's not gonna fall for it tonight. <laughs> okay, I, I'll cast Dancing Lights and just send them behind the dragon one. All four of my orbs will just illuminate behind the dragon and all that stuff. Um, okay, and yeah, it's, um, Um, if I start on anything. Yeah, uh, uh, they're just dancing around and um, you are, uh, uh, you're, you didn't spook anything, nothing appears to be hidden. Uh, you do notice that the shadow is still on the wall behind you. Behind us now? Uh, no, I'm behind, sorry. behind the statue. Whew, there's only one shadow behind us. That's me. And you can see ruins uh, on the uh, on the red square. Yeah, I was double checking. Uh, yes, uh, there are ruins on the tile's inner edge. Okay. And written in Draconic. Does anyone speak Draconic? Anyone? anyone? Uh, unfortunately, no. I'm abyssal, celestial, common, elvish, and unconquered. Hey, Orky, I bet you speak dragon. Go stand on the red tiles and tell us what they Uh, Erky, uh, goes over and, uh, looks at the tile and he looks down and he walks over to Tempest and he whispers something in Tempest's ear. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna mess up like, like I did last time. <laughs> But it says, let the sorcerer's power illuminate my spirit. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to whisper that to everyone else. <laughs> oh, you're a quick learner. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I forgot about that last 
Okay, so what it says is, let the sorcerer's power illuminate my spirit. Hmm. Probably have to stand on that square and read that. So I'm guessing... Sounds like a job for demon. I'm guessing if there's a sorcerer in the group, they can cast a spell and that'll... Uh, Brings like cast a light spell or something. I just did actually. <laughs> you cast dancing lights, not light. Oh, okay. And you cast it behind the statue instead of cast light on the that. ghost of whoever. Unfortunately, I don't have light. I just have dancing lights. I have light. I don't think it's a light spell. I think you just have to cast some kind of sorcerer spell, and it'll do something. Technically, I did that, too. <laughs> what's, that, uh, what's that red square? Not standing in the red square. Go stand in the red square and do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the red square has the um, the ruins on it that says, Let the sorcerer's power illuminate my spirit. So, uh, I'll move my dancing lights to be right on top of this the square. Does anybody we'll have see. an idea of what's going to happen? If we're worried that somebody's going to take damage, I can go in. Yeah, because I can move them around as a bonus action. We're up to a minute, then I can just recap. Hey, yeah, your dancing lights are hovering above Nidalak now, and, you know, <clears throat> Nidalak, you uh, step on the square, and nothing has changed. In the previous rooms, it may have to say something. Yeah. I think you gotta say what was whispered. Well, while standing on the square. By the last time, all we had to do was say the word. You're right, Light. but yeah. But this mm -hmm. says power. Last time, it just said. Uh, I'll, I'll say the whole thing. Let the sorcerer's power illuminate my spirit. One of those has. I was going to look at the floor to see if there were scorch marks. Too late. Uh, after you finish saying the sentence aloud, uh, this puff of spectral flame comes up out of the tile, and it, it just completely covers you for a minute. And then it harmlessly... Oh, okay. It harmlessly disappears. However, you do get um, advantage on charisma checks for the next 24 hours. Nice. Charisma. Oh, I see. You know who goes use that? The sorcerer. <laughs> next, <laughs> next time you'll listen to me and do what I tell you. I'm already charismatic. Like, but you could have been in the middle of uh, some sort of cloud. I assumed it was poison. I was getting ready to make a con. <laughs> and after all this transpires and the flame vanishes from you, uh, you all do see that the shadow on the wall uh, is moving. And it's coming towards you, Nidalak. And you need to, everyone needs to roll for initiative. Use your charisma, Nidalak. Actually <laughs> rolled well. He did. <laughs> Usually I roll so bad on initiative. Oh, you mean last week with all the bad, all the monsters were rolling before? And I'm just going to roll a knit on Shannon and just bring him if we need him. Alright, Nidalak, you have a shadow moving towards you and you have a pretty good idea that it's going to be hostile towards you. Okay, so I will um, move to edit. I'll 
target the shadow and I'll swing my spear at it. Wait, can we even hit a shadow without magical weapons? We'll find out, won't we? But given how that we haven't found any magical weapons yet, it would be kind of hard. That's all I can do. Yeah, ma magic weapons aren't as prolific in 5e as it is in Pathfinders and other ones. Good old firebolt for the mess. Oh, think positive. You're gonna hit. You can do it. Who am I kidding? <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna move back. <laughs> so Navin is going to take advantage of his new dread ambusher. Not the walking additional speed on his first round, but he will he gets two attacks. Nice. And Darius, if you ever do run Curse of Strahd again. Thorn is capable of doing a horrifying visage on a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I hit on my first attack. And it does resist. Alright, so I get my second attack. Which hits, so this does, it does by bow damage, it also does extra damage. And I'm done. Okay, and Shadow's going to reach out and try to touch Nidalike. Oh, shit. Wait, um... I'm going to use my reaction. I still would hit. Never mind. 24 and 7. Dang it, because I could cast shield as a reaction. That's a well. And let's see. Shadow does. Uh... Ow. Uh, when it touches you, uh, the shadow does. Uh strength drain and unfortunately you lost four points of strength what does that leave you with? I'm at 12 strength still so, um. okay it's your slow but average so do I actually remove that from my abilities or do I do something no, just put it in the damage column yeah, yeah, that's... Oh. Uh, hmm. Should I sneak around behind it and uh, try to flank it so I'm on the opposite side from where Nidalak is? You're going to have a hard yeah. time getting around it, just do you have enough movement? I'm not sure, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So you'd have to use your... Yeah, you can if you use your extra action for a dash. 15, 20, 20 30. Actually, I can... Um, if I go down that way and then up there, I can get behind it. Yeah, that works. Yeah, you sure can. Okay, so I guess I should do that. I think you're going to have to put... STR minus four. Yeah. Who, me? Or Nidalak? Yeah. Nidalak. Yeah. Okay. Alright, and I will uh, try to attack it with my rapier. 
Never mind. Oh wait, I forgot to do the advantage. But they would have only been there. Just roll again. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, but you don't have an advantage that time. Huh? Where you get two rolls basically, that's what advantage is, but you just took Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, the first one that it dropped would have been your roll, so you did indeed miss. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And Herky's gonna run over. And we are going to try Sacred Flame. And have some radiant damage. And Erky kind of looks over at Navin and says, that's how you do it. I did all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, you uh, the the shadow just dissolves back into light, and uh, you don't see anything else moving in the room. There are no more threats. Winter, can you change my dark vision? I have ninety dark vision downstairs. Absolutely. Let me do a. Uh... Man, you like we need to do something about the damage you just took. Yeah, I can do a second wind on myself. Or you could ask uh, Shannon to use his uh. Yeah, the healers. Yeah. yeah. How long is that strength train last? I don't know. Um, give me a second and I'll tell you on that. Um... Yeah, uh, the the reduction lasts until you finish a short or long rest. Cool. Should we take a short rest? Ah, it's hard to say. Yeah, technically, we just took a long rest. We might have to move a little longer before we can okay. like, take a nap after being up for 30 minutes. Yeah, That's right. Fine. Okay, so I guess I will uh, listen at this other door here. And examine the back of this dragon statue, see if there's anything of interest there. Okay. Uh, if you want to... Uh, Tempest, uh, you are... I uh, have no idea if you're hearing anything or not. I'm hearing you. <laughs> Uh, no, you are not uh, hearing anything on the other side of the door. The um, the door does not have a lock, so we're good there. And Damon, with the creature, um, or with the statue, you are not finding anything. However, okay. where you're standing, you do notice a loose stone in the wall right there. I'll call, call people's attention to this loose stone in the wall back. Just check it out, Wussy. I'll go check it out. I'll get out of her way. <laughs> Maybe you should wipe your bottom after you're done. Uh, Tempest, uh, you're not seeing any traps. Okay, can I open it? Uh, or yeah, it yeah. You, you pull the stone out of the wall, and you see this small little 
alcove that contains uh, you find 34 gold pieces and two flasks of alchemist fire. Okay. Yeah. And that is now in the party sheet. Uh, I think I'll take one of them. And, uh, anybody else want the other one? Anyone can take them. I throw my own fire. Yeah. Alright, well, if nobody else wants the Alchemist fire, I'll take both, I guess. Go for it. Okay. Uh, Anna, could you uh, turn your TV down just a little bit? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, not a problem. Okay. So you have the door to the north. And it wasn't locked, and they heard no sound. Charge, Blueberry, charge! <laughs> uh, no sound, and it is indeed unlocked. And all of a sudden, Erky yells out the sign, the password for the dragon. <laughs> um, uh, when you open the door, uh, you can see leaning and fallen stone bookshelves fill this chamber. There is a clear path to the door on the opposite wall. Uh, you can see torn and burnt pages, bindings, and scrolls form disordered piles around the room in, in the corners. Okay. Who's yeah, going in first? I'm going to unlock tokens so y'all can move freely. Is there that glowing lich in this room too, or is that just back with a mushroom? Oh, in that garden area. The glowing lich. I think he means lichen. <laughs> Hopefully. Because if there's a glowing yeah, lich in here, we're, we're in big trouble. Yeah, we might be dead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there, there, there's no lichen in this room, <laughs> nor any liches. Come on, have, I wanted a glowing. Have you seen the meme and the article going around Facebook where Frosty the Snowman is probably a D and D lich? <laughs> yeah, I also saw one that said Jesus is a lich too. Uh. So, yeah, uh, you're in this room, there's torn and burnt pages and just all kinds of chaos, but, you know, most of it's been pushed away over into the corner, so there's a clear path. <laughs> Whoa, I moved, damn. Yeah, I've been pushing in, I have human shield. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm only half human. I will investigate the other door and see if there's any sounds coming from there or... Uh, no, uh, you're not hearing any sounds and that door as well does not have a lock. Okay. If everybody's ready, I'll open it. Go for it. Okay. Okay, opening the door uh, reveals damp and crumbled steps descending sharply down. Is there a railing? I'll ride the railing down the first. Uh, yeah, why not? There, there, there's a safety railing that's big enough going right down the middle of the stairs that you can just slide on down. Wee! Like Fred at the beginning of the fun. <laughs> and, let's see. 
if you go down underneath the uh, the garden room and uh, it's just like a tunnel passing out the other room and Navin you can see a set of stairs uh, 50 feet away that are going up 40 feet away <laughs> First, on your way down, and you hear it out of song that plays, and the kids and Willy Wonka start going through the tunnel. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you can see that the stairs go up into a hallway, and then the hallway turns to the south. Okay. But you're not hearing any noise, you're not seeing anyone. I guess we all follow him. <laughs> the smug superior vegan. <laughs> Okay, there's unmasking, and yeah, the uh, corridor continues south for quite a long ways, and you can see two doors in the eastern wall down at the end of the corridor. Okay, and doesn't look like there's anything down this way. Uh, Weird shadows, or is it just dark? Yeah, it's uh, it, it's just dark. Uh, you're not seeing any more weird shadows. Okay. Well, I will uh, use some use my stealth when I get near this door and. Um, investigate at the door, see if there's any uh, sounds coming from there, or if there's a lot, or if there's a lot of traps. Okay, um, the door is locked. Um, you're not seeing any signs of traps, though. Okay, no noise? Uh, no noise. Okay, I'm gonna check this one too before we uh, go any further. Uh, uh yes, you you are hearing some noise coming from. Let's see. Uh yes, you are hearing some uh noise and. It sounds like uh, goblins talking on the other side of that door. Okay, and I will go back and let the party know what's what I heard. So she heard goblins behind that? Behind the second door, the lower one. Okay. So, which door do you want to go in first now? Should we do the quiet one and the, the noisy one? I'm just going to whisper that. I'm whispering, we should do the, the first door first so we don't have anything come from behind if there's more. And middle light shuts out. Yeah, sure. I'm just kidding. Okay. I wouldn't do that. All right. Well, let's. Uh... Let's get over here and I will open the door when everybody's ready. Give the hand sign that I'm ready. Okay. Uh, you quietly, uh, yeah, you'll need to uh, do a uh, dexterity check and have your thieves tools to unlock that door. Okay, right. Uh, dexterity check. Um, uh, 
And wow, you got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, the door is unlocked, and you slowly open it, and you can see a layer of soil covers the floor. Uh, there's rough wooden shelves filled with a scattering of tome and scrolls uh, lining the north and east walls, and a rough-hewn desk stands in the center of the chamber. Uh, you see fungus on the ceiling providing light, um, apparently in sufficient quality, quantity to uh, nourish several small bushes and pale samplings that are growing in the floor are growing in the soil on the floor. Okay, I think we should probably kill those plants. Those are probably more of those uh, walking bushes or whatever they were. Uh, yeah, uh, looking at them, they don't appear to be the twig blights that you've encountered before. Oh, no. no. They looked blighted, didn't they? Yes, they did. I can still just see Anna over there stabbing over if not her dag. Alright, I'm gonna um, go over to this other door. Uh, wait, wait, let's search the room first. Before everybody comes and makes a bunch of noise, I'll go check that door and I'm gonna use stealth again. Um, Okay, sneaking over to the door and listening, you can hear what you assume are the same goblin voices from before. That's what I figure. Okay. Is the door locked? Or trapped? Uh, no, it is not to both. And All right. Good luck. Uh, are you searching the room? Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. Uh, you can see all kinds of seasonal records of growth and precipitation and harvest and other similar notes for the surrounding land for at least the past 12 years. And looking around, you find... Wow, this really sucks that none of y'all can read Draconic. <laughs> <laughs> How about Erky? Uh, yeah, uh, you, well, you, if you want, I can change one of my doctor to make it easier for you. Uh, you're, you're fine. Um, you find this interesting bound tome, and let's see. If he wasn't, you know, waiting in the back. Way, way back there, he probably could. <laughs> Just keeping Chain and company. Uh, yeah. We'll bring Erky up. And, um, the tome. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can tell that it's an exquisitely bound book and so forth, and, uh, uh you know, it's worth uh, more than a couple little gold pieces and showing it to Erky um, you can uh, he tells you that the title of it is Treasures of the Fire Lord okay. Ooh, I know what is it you said it was bound, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's just one of these big normal tomes that you see. We should probably see if there's any information in it. Probably has information about the treasure of the, would you say, Fire Lords? Treasure of the Fire Lords. Uh-huh. Okay. Somebody that's good with magic might want this. I don't care about it. All right. Well, I have an idea for when we're ready to go into this next room. How about uh, a couple of us uh, stay in here, and uh, the other two go over to the other door, 
And when uh, one of us opens one of the doors, we'll get them to come and attack us, and the other two can go in and flank them from behind. Sure, if you want. That's fine. Whichever side, just tell me which side to go in. I nominate Oki to go be attacked. Does anybody have a message? Fortunately, no. You talking about so that we'll be able to tell when the when to attack? Because yeah. I think the noise will be loud enough. I lay my hand on the book that Erky's holding just to see if it gives, gives off the presence of magic. Uh, yes, uh, you can uh, detect some magic coming from it. Hmm. We'll have to figure out what this is. Unless Erky knows what it is. Uh, no, uh, but Ur Erky's like, uh, you open it, I'm not. <laughs> oh, hello. I'll take one for the team this time, and I'll try opening up to see what happens to my face. Okay, uh, how are you opening the book? More specifically, Gosh. where are you opening the book to? The middle, okay. page one, page five... I'm just opening up the very first so I can see the cover page where it gives, like, you know, all the information for, like, the created by and then copyright rules and all that. Okay. Uh, and the book uh, is blank. Okay. At least on the title page. Hmm. All right, I'll turn it one more page. Okay, um... Boom! Goes my face. Uh, yeah, pre pretty much. <laughs> uh, where are you? There you are. You weren't using your face anyways. And let's see... I'm assuming it's fire. <laughs> and that's a 20 foot radius. Is there a fire trap on this book? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we don't have to worry about the people in the other room now. <laughs> <laughs> you I think would, they're going to know we're in here now. You would think that it would be fire by the title, but unfortunately, it's not, and... Oh, does it smell like vegan? <laughs> I'm leveling up! And... Here we go, Erky, Damon, Tempest, Navin, and... Oh, well, thank you for... Okay, uh, yeah. as you turn to page two, um, I, you recognize a glyph for just a second, a glyph of warding, and it, it explodes out of the page, and... Um, this cold magical energy fills the room and that's gonna hurt <laughs> yeah eh, not as bad as I thought but uh, you all take uh, cold damage and Damon looking down at the book um, you can see that there are now words on the page and it's all written in draconic. Oh, I end it back to Erky. Here you go, you can read it. Trap disarm. <laughs> yeah, we can read the book later. <laughs> Don't have to do that right now. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I know uh, I was joking. Uh, Erky just flips through it really quick and he's like, uh, oh, this is beyond me and gives you the book back, Damon. <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> I stick it in my backpack and look towards the door. Your car blew off the hinge. And uh, Tempest, uh, it, you know, there was a little bit of sound with the magical explosion. And you can hear the goblins starting to yell in the other room. Okay, so do we, can we do my idea with the uh, getting them from both sides? Or do I we don't not know have time? We have the time for that now. Probably in combat. <sighs> All right, so uh, I guess. Well, someone won't stop someone from running. I mean. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'll open the door and uh, be ready to shoot a shoot an arrow or a, a bolt in for my crossbow. Okay. Um, and wait just one second before we get there. Um, okay. Nedalak was searching the room why all this was taking place and. Uh, you all find in the room um, a scroll of entangle. A scroll of protection from poison, a tome on juratic theories on the cycle of life and death, and in little cubby holes in the desk you find 365 gold pieces and four agate gems. Yeah. Let's use the angle on this, uh, on whoever's in this room that we're about to Unfortunately, I don't think we can technically touch it because it kind of blew up. This is all happening at exactly the same time, I'm assuming. Well, I think what we were saying that was that we found that stuff before the ward got set off. Yeah. Right? That's what I thought. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, if you want to grab anything from the party sheet before. Yeah, that's protection for poison. Yeah, whoever is able to cast that spell on that scroll, maybe we should use it on the goblins in this room. Okay, none of that went over apparently. Yeah, there it is. And I've identified the scroll for you all. What's this tone? That's the one that blew us up with. This is I'm a assuming juridic theory. Oh, the juridic line. Uh, yeah, that that's just a uh, rare book that's worth some money that you happen to stumble across. Oh, okay. I was making sure it wasn't something else that was going to blow us up on this. Nope, not at all. It's just worth 150 gold pieces. Okay, Tempest, uh, the shouting is getting louder on the other side of the door and closer to you. Okay, is everybody ready? Yeah. Unless right, people right. are running around to the other door, but yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I will open the door and I'm gonna... As soon as, uh, as, soon as I open it and I can see somebody in there, I'll try to shoot him with my crossbow if I can. Okay, and uh, you might as well go ahead and roll initiatives now. <laughs> Let's say, does that not take my 19 I just rolled? <laughs> if I didn't, then I was going to have to say, no, I rolled a 19, you're going to have to count that. Yeah, it took it. <laughs> And Shannon. Two of it. We're going to oh, bring him down here in the hall and he can stand guard. And I need my goblins. There's one, two, three, and four. And it figures Snabbin would be out in the hall. <laughs> I 
raise the hall monitor. That's a good place for a vegan. <laughs> he uh, moves to the door and gets ready to engage when he hears that the goblins are preoccupied. Okay, and Shannon's uh, just going to come up and back you up as well. Uh, Nidalak, uh, you can notice a look of surprise on uh, Tempest's face when she opens the door. Yeah, I probably see at least something in the doorway. Uh, yeah. Can I move there? You sure can. I'll attack this first one that's right beside me. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. I hit the ranged one, but I meant the other one. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's <Wow>. to death. <laughs> he had one hit point. Uh, you stab him, and you know you're lifting him up on your spear, and he's just sliding down it. <laughs> and uh, that'll be it. I think it's blueberry there and paler now. Yeah, but I'm out of the way, so you guys can you guys can come in. That should have made a lot of noise for Naven, me coming in and stabbing the guy to death. I can hear the shrieks as his he's disemboweled. So, do you want to take your ready to action? Um, sure. I for my ready to action, I'll open the. door. Okay, that'll work, and yeah, Erky's just going to wait a minute, and that goblin saw what happened to his body, and you can hear them scream out, aid us, protector of the twilight grove, and saying that he comes forward and he's gonna swing a scimitar at you who comes forward? I don't see anybody Goblin Goblin 6 oh okay and And 15 is using a short bow, and he's going to take a shot at the blueberry, which does hit. He doesn't. As my reaction, I cast shield. <laughs> so that means it misses. And he's seen. He's aware of the door opening, so he's gonna move back. Hmm. I really can't go in there because I move away from Goblin Six, so I'll trigger an attack of opportunity. I was moving right there by the door to get ready to go where I'm on his taxi room. And Goblin 8's got a short bow and he is going to fire the blueberry. And this one bounces off the wall. And he's going to come south a little bit. And Tempest, you are up. 
Okay. Um, I will shoot at goblin number six. I mean, my, uh, I'm starting to think that the goblins up top were tougher. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> yeah, they were tower pretty good. Well, we have leveled up too. Yeah, but even, even you know, some of the commoners had more hit points than that. The same as rolls, I just, I just rolled better this. Because the commoners in the garden area had uh, more hit points than these guys. Of course, we haven't seen uh, Guardian of the Grove. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, no, it's a pretty good goal. Uh, you Are want you to move, Tempest? There? I think I'll stay where I am now. Okay. And Navin, you're up. Now I'm step into the room. He will use his grid ambusher ability to take two attacks. Actually, that only works on the first round. Yeah, these things are way... Oh, oh, oh. Hit. I've got random hit points turned on. <laughs> that would explain oh, okay. why a couple of them are so low. <laughs> and Shannon's going to... Step into the room. And he's going to go right there. And let's see what Shannon would do. characters. Mm -hmm. And in this room, uh, you can see twigs and roots are piled on the floor. Uh, the southern wall has collapsed. Uh, there's luminescent, luminescent fungus on the walls and the high roof. And you can see this twilight grove of stickly briars and bushes and saplings and other woody plants and ruined walls and hollow towers protrude from the briars ahead of you. Hey guys. Hey. hey. Sorry it was running a little late. Uh, it's not oh. a problem. It's okay, we sacrificed you to some goblins. I 
I knew it. <laughs> okay, Nidalak, I you defeat that other goblin and I really think that we should change it to blueberry bloodshed. It's a nice alliteration. Blueberry of bloodshed. <laughs> And coming down, uh, you can't see. Let's zoom out. And you can see this enormous cavern behind you. Did he say, does he see anything I'm walking? Uh, give me just a second. Um, uh, yes, uh, you do. And uh, I got to put him on the map. That's a goblin that's dead. Uh, you can see some uh, twig blights coming towards you. Okay. Give a second here while Sean connects. Yeah, we've had a long rest and you haven't used your healing kit on anybody. This gives you. Didn't yeah, we level? Is pretty rough. Yeah, we leveled yet. Yeah. Like and Damon are looking pretty rough about right now. Yeah, we found a book. I opened it and blew up. You know, pretty much every time I find something, it blows up. <laughs> oh no! Well, if you'd listen to me, you'd have advantage in all your prison. <laughs> that wouldn't have helped, though. <laughs> hey, if I had, I hand back if I had stepped on and said it, probably would have blown up because it was a sorcerer. Okay, uh, yeah, you do see uh, three twig blights coming up. Uh, we can stay in combat. You've got at least a round or two before they actually get to you if y'all would like to do some healing. I struggle with combat. What was that? Drop off combat. Okay. Remember these five words, they're very important. The vegan is always wrong. <laughs> uh, I saw an article today. Uh, some university had published a paper and they are calling for a ban on the phrase bring home the bacon. And it's got nothing to do with animals or the typical vegan. It's just uh, another one of these old terms that are derogatory and meant to put people down. Wow. I seen a video from a guy on who works for the Huffington Post to uh, a whole breakdown on how uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer movie. 60s was all about abusive parents and mistreatment and bullying. And, and the whole thing is the moral of the story is overcoming adversity. I know. Okay, I see a really big room we're in. Yeah. Uh, that is correct. Uh, you're, you found the main underground cavern of the uh, of the citadel and uh, they come across uh, they found a dragon statue they found a library um, and the room that they were just in where Erky's at um, contained all kinds of notes about harvest and yield and precipitation going back for at least 12 years and 
They uh, just fought some goblins and have uh, twig blights and bound. And if y'all want to, we'll drop out of combat if y'all want to do your healing. Yeah, someone's going to have to heal some of us. We could, uh, well, Shannon can heal some of us while the other ones are fighting. Using our, uh, distance up. Having a potion healing. Okay, I'm just looking here real quick. Reacquainting myself. What level are we? Three. 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 Yeah. I'm only down five hit points, so I'm pretty good to go. Yeah, Nina leaks down seven, and I am down eleven. Well, seventeen. I mean that. Okay, it says the last person I healed. Did we take a short rest? We took a long rest. So then I can actually heal you guys if you need healing. Yeah. Can you Who use the heal? Yeah. If you, if you can use that like again and uh. Short so you said it's okay for me to heal him? Yep. Yeah, yeah it sure is. Yeah. Although you might have to move over. Yeah, I moved beside you. And now he runs across the room. Yeah, sorry. Me too. Yeah, you'll need to move over to me. Jumping over the body of the dead goblin. So I'm targeting you and I'm going to use. Right, so I couldn't, I couldn't get it right. I use the healer feet on you, right? Yep, yep. Wow, you got seven back. And you're still hurt. It's looking better. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can. Let me see if I got something else. Uh, we still. I don't know that we're out of combat so much as taking a round between combat, so you might only build a fair chance. Oh, is that all I can do? Is the one then? Uh, you know, uh, at most you would have two rounds before they're. Really, where they're at well, on I can the map heal now. One more person, then who would it heal? Uh, Damon. Yeah, Damon, definitely. Yeah, and Nabin will grudgingly, very grudgingly, because he hasn't found a way, reason, you know, to disrespect the lack. He will, he will uh, cast your light moon. Thank you, sirs. You got a super band-aid. Yeah, and it was a nice roll. Yeah. Was exactly how many hit points I was. Wow, the blueberry's looking even more blue now. Or should I say radiant? <laughs> uh okay, uh Y'all want to reroll initiatives or go with what you got? Well, yeah, I'm good with either. Whatever everyone's up to. I'm, I blew my normal. I did my normal roll side. So. Doesn't matter to me. Like you said that we were still in combat. So I mean, if you want to redo it, so we start again. Nah, we'll just keep it where it's at. And we'll just start at the top, and Nabin, you're up. All right, Nabin sets up from behind. And you can see uh, two and a quarter twig blights coming towards you. Uh, I think they're on a different layer. I believe that they are. Yeah, there's one. 
Yeah, I was wondering why I wasn't able to target him. Okay, you should be able to target now. Alright, so he will use his first attack. He misses his twig bite and fires his second arrow. Dead vegan. <laughs> it wasn't just dead, it was instant dead. He just hunted his dinner. Quick mm -mm -mm. point, white surprise. I'm going to move to uh, to right here. And if uh, anything gets within uh, 10 feet of me, I'm readying a cantrip called Gust. Okay. Just to get the idea is if they get within 10 feet, then I will, that'll trigger it and I'll cast that spell. That works for me. Are these like bushes or are they trees or the green parts or whatever? I think it's the trees that the guys up top are describing that were down here. Maybe. Uh yeah, they're they're the same creatures that you fought on the way to the oh, Citadel. I'm... No, he means the bushy things. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh those are briars. Okay, so it'd be like difficult terrain to go through or something. Uh, yes, and uh, we've all walked through a briar bush. Uh, they will cause one point of damage <laughs> if you don't make a uh, constitution saving throw if you go through one of them. I will move there. That's all I'll do. And Erkies. Yeah, Erkies gonna move down. Okay. Actually, wait, no, not there. If I go there, can I see that twig light just past, uh, Nip? Uh, yeah, you sure can. Okay, I'll do that. And I go, here's a friend today, Firebolt. And I roll my normal. <laughs> Sets himself on fire. Yeah, um, let's see. If I go there, can I get a clear shot at uh, one of the twig lights? Uh, yeah, I'll give it to you. Yeah. I'm generous tonight. Cool, thanks. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so 
See, that's why I gave it to you. <laughs> yeah. And that one's going to try and claw Nidalek and does not. And we're just going to move to the side of him. Uh, number 11 is going to come up and try a claw as well. And that one misses. And Navin, you're up. Any obstructions for Twig by the Law? No, not at all. Only the obstructions that I've placed on myself. <laughs> I'll move to there and drag my draw my dagger and attack the twig blight with booming blade. But every time I do this, it never. <laughs> if I remember right, they don't have a lot of hit points. This one. Uh, and I had uh, random hit points turned on, so a couple of them have very little hit points. <laughs> so do I get advantage right there? Uh, you have planking, so you do. Yep, didn't even need the boomer. <laughs> okay. Just seeing the guy come up. Uh, in front of me and the guy beside me is dead, I will turn to the one in front of me and swing back. That negative four to strength is really hampering. Um, we can always take a short conversation if you want. Yeah, we might have to do that after this. If the garden in the grove doesn't show up, that is. Yeah, that's true. And Erky is going to come down. And we're going to try the sacred flame again. Oh, we found another dragon, huh? Yeah. Just a statue. And Erkin claimed the kill. And you can hear noise coming from further south in the cavern. And I'm just going to go ahead and unmask it all. <laughs> And from where you're at, uh, down in the south, uh, you can see this massive tree growing. Okay. And that might be very dull sounds. Uh, Which one is the massive tree? That one there. I think uh, the map is just taking a lot to look. That is uh, a tree. It, yeah, it's catching up. Big dead tree. We might oh, I see. go back to the little boom, the explosion room and prepare it so we can hike like a short rest. If we can. Unfortunately, I'm not working. Does it sound like there's a ritual going on down? Uh, give me a second, and you can see, uh, you can see people, you can hear voices, and... Um, 
Does it sound like they're getting closer to us or just setting up now? I just had an idea. Since there are trees growing down here, does that mean we could use that feather token? I think the token says clear sky. Yeah, okay. It must be outdoors to use this token. Right, I was just wondering since there's actually trees growing down here, so. Are we uh, outdoors? Uh, no, you're in an underground cavern. Okay. Um, th there's a lot of uh, luminescent fungus and lichen on the ceilings and the walls, and it's apparently providing enough light for uh, plants to do some growing. Okay. And, but not enough for that feather token then. A yes, I'm going to go with that. That there's not enough for the feather, and let's see. That's fine. And I'm just wondering what we would do if a tree grew indoor anyway. Throw it at somebody and have a tree grow on them. What's the K? Uh, the uh, K... <gasps> it's Sharwin! <laughs> Bradford! Uh, the K is a frog. <laughs> it's a pet frog, isn't it? Yeah, it's Bellix, a uh, pet frog. And they are aware of you all. Yeah, so uh, I guess no short rest then? <laughs> Uh, you can try and barricade the door and hope for the best, but... We don't need no sneaking rest. <laughs> well, when the main melee fighter is down four strength. Oh, yeah, what are you doing four strength? Uh, uh, shadow. shadow. Oh, I can fix that. I think. Hold on. Do I know that? I don't know that spell right now. Can't help you. <laughs> I was thinking uh, Lesser Restoration might help. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. That's a condition like a disease, death, and poison. Okay. Hmm. You may just be screwed. <laughs> I can do Gentle Repose after you die, though. Or, you know, you could just go sit in a room for an hour while everyone else is fighting. <laughs> I'm sure they'd like that. <laughs> Come out and refreshed and so forth. I'll insult you like I insult Erky. <laughs> uh, uh, before we get into this next combat, do y'all mind if we take ten minutes here? No, not at all. I'm good. Sounds good. Cool. We'll see you shortly.
Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, you can see this wall clearing uh, among the briars, and the walls are about 20 feet high. Uh, and the ceiling's uh, 40 feet. You can see several varieties of plants. Um, beneath uh, all the fungal light coming from the ceiling and the walls, um, uh, you see this evil looking tree uh, it's blackened twisted limbs are reaching upwards like a skeletal hand clawing its way out of the earth and before it uh, you can see a uh, couple of tip twig blights uh, a heavy heavily armored young ma human male with a shield and a sword a blonde young haired woman in a robe fit for a noble and a middle-aged bearded human male wearing a hooded brown robe and armed with a staff and a sickle. And the younger humans have black eyes and gray skin and their skin has the texture of bark. And also uh, it's pretty obvious that the frog is there. <laughs> And, and a couple of the uh, twig blights are headed north your way. Okay. Or at least one of them is. So, uh... Would y'all like to advance forward 60 feet or so, and we'll re-roll initiative? Okay. Just give me one second, I'm just doing something. Okay. As we're walking down there, I'll just take a scroll out of my backpack, and I'm going to read from it and give myself mage armor. That's probably a good idea. And then I'll delete the scroll. And I'll have another one in my hand ready to use if I have to. Yeah, I'm going to sheath my dagger for now and have a free hand, and I'll move up with the crew. So I'll move up to there. Tempest down with you guys. And let's re roll initiative. It's up last. <laughs> that did not count. So I take it there's light in this room? Fungus light. Uh, yeah, uh, there's enough light for the plants to grow, so there's enough light for you all to see clearly. Okay, everyone's rolled. Shannon, you're up first. Can I see those guys? I uh, 
Yeah, not not real. There, you can see movement. You can see the heads of them. Uh, the walls are the crumbled walls are probably you know three to four foot tall in places. Um, I should it's 115 feet. Yep. And what I'm going to do is cast silence. And with that, I will move to, with the casting of silence, then I move to here. Then I don't know. Do they make saving throws? I don't think they do. They just can't talk, right? Uh, correct. So if they got any verbal components in their spells, they're poo pooed. Okay, concentration up to 10 minutes. Got it. I will move there and then uh, pull out my longbow and. Made short work of him. <laughs> I was trying to make sure Navin, Navin had a clear line of the shot in case I didn't. And yeah, we're gonna let the twig do a dash action. <laughs> yeah, the frog's staying put. And... I hope they're good lip readers. <laughs> and Charwin's you said their eyes are black? Uh, yes, uh, all except for uh, Bellic's eyes, they are black. And Shannon moves forward the tree. Nabin, you're up. Um... Alright, I will move up the side to the left. And sorry, we can see um, Balak and the others, or do the wall? Uh, yes, uh, you can see them. At most, uh, it would be a negative two penalty, but <laughs> at that okay. point, you're good either way. All right, so Nabin will take advantage of his um, Dread Ambusher again. And he is going to fire a couple shots at Alak. And then he'll take his Dread Ambusher shot. Hooray for no AC. <laughs> nice. Okay. Erky is... And the one thing we guys need to remember, we do know that Shannon's a wizard. What's that? Well, was a wizard. 
faster. No, she's a plant creature. Oh, she looks plant like now? Uh yeah, she uh her eyes are black, the skin is uh I think it's pale and looks uh yeah, the skin is gray and it's got the texture of bark. Okay. Okay. So do can I see her right through that hole in the wall then? Uh, yeah, let's do a minus two on that. And do a firebolt for now. See what happens. <laughs> Yay. And I yell down, your mother's going to be disappointed. Alright, uh, Belly runs forward, and he's yelling, hold a moment, you know not what you do. We didn't hear that because, uh, he was He moved out. He yeah. moved out so he could say it. And with that, he's, uh... Yeah, he's going to wait and see how you all respond. And in the meantime, his twig blights are moving forward. Yeah, we'll give him a dash. And Sir Bradford grunts around the wall. Unless the sound, the sound, the silence cling to them, I don't think it does. And he's going to run up to where the twig bite is, and tempest. All right. That's as far as I can move, right? Unless I do a double move. Uh, correct. Or use your bonus action to give yourself a double move and still be able to do something. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. Can I shoot at Twig Blight number five from that spot? If not, I'll uh, I'll use uh, my bonus action to get a little bit farther ahead and try to get. Uh, it. yeah, you you would take a negative two penalty on it. All right, I'll do that. So I click on disadvantage for this one. Do you give the minus two? No, uh, it's just. Uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Just click the minus two. Do we know that this guy's a bad guy? Well, we assumed, but we probably he did, you know, ask us to stop. We know not. What... Twig blights, however, I don't think we have to care too much. About. I think they're evil and easy. Yeah. I'm fairly certain he's evil since he's, you know, like, it looks like he's a uh, human. He might not know that he's He might be, oh, he might be doing this, like, uh, without knowing what he's doing. He might be possessed or something. Um, he's called the outcast. 
Yeah, well, people sometimes, you know, All make right. harsh judgments. I don't trust him, so yeah, I'm going to move to here. Well, I'm not saying we should trust him. I'm saying he, may, he could be evil and he may not know it. I'm going to move one space back. That gives me a line of sight on him, right? Uh, yes, it does. And I'm going to cast Magic Missile at second level. I'm done. Some damage. It just auto hits. Yeah. Yeah. So here comes four of them. One. Two. Three. Four. And we'll never know what he you wants. Hit yourself. Yeah. I was gonna say it. Uh, it maybe oh, we uh, could. Oh, I said damage in myself. Yeah. The last. Well, I can take those off. I have gnomes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but I, I delivered 17 points of damage. Not bad. <laughs> what was he going to say? Too late <laughs> now. We're not done. Oh, and I'm not done. So I'm going to move now with the rest of my movement. I'm going to go 25 to here. It's for all we know if he's containing an evil demon tree. Yeah, that's a possibility too, I guess. Okay, I unloaded a powerful second level spell with Magic Whistle. I can move there, right? Good will go Cleric Power. Yeah, that should work. Good thing we didn't hear that frog because he probably would have been crook. <laughs> frog couldn't hear him cry. He's silenced. It's a familiar. Oh, he felt the disturbance of the force. Ah, he at least saw him fall. <laughs> and the frog's going to take uh, this giant leap Is it like a man-eating frog side? Uh, yeah, it, it is a medium creature. Guess who it's going to eat? It's going to go after the blueberry and bloodshed. I think it's going after the Clara. They like to tasty little short people. And that's all he can do. The Clara just did the final blow. He didn't do all that. And Sharwin I got three bodies behind in front of me, or two. She's gonna come forward. She's a wizard. But we broke the enchantment, hopefully. She looked like she was barking mad. That was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know, sorry. <laughs> if you're looking for any kind of praise from us, you're looking up the wrong tree. And let's see. <laughs> uh, damn it. Should probably do some 10 foot effect right on Demon and. Erky. Well, uh, she starts to cast a spell. Prismatic spray! I go to another plane of existence. At Nidalak. Uh, and this ray of frost just goes right by you. Well, it seems like we are engaged now. For good or ill, there's no getting out of this. We can subdue her and drag her back. Nah, let me just poke arrows. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
I have keepsakes that might shake their memory. Uh, They're okay. clearly too far gone. All right. You should let their mother see them. Like I'll accept your diagnosis and kill. I'm a vegan. I understand these things. Yeah, you definitely should like her even more since she's kind of plant at the moment. Right. <laughs> Goodbye, Eric. And That's true. Erky sneaks down and does a sacred flame on Sharwin. I should probably be changing side. <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> As I'm moving there, can I do I see any physical changes to them, or are they still looking all barky and all that? Uh, they are still looking barky. Okay. I'm assuming this wall is high enough for me to fire over and give me a little bit of cover. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna fire at her firebolt. And miss again. I'll hit tonight sometime. <laughs> no, you won't. But if you're taking that, you know, advantage to Chris, like I tried to get for you. <laughs> All right. It's okay. I wasn't stepping on it. I blew up the book anyway. And Sir Bradford is going to move up closer. All right. Um, Sir Bradford's a uh, fighter type. I love his paladin. Oh, is that right? Okay. I think he's a this Okay. I've got. I, I'm curious about what um, Balak was gonna say. Uh, is there enough of him left that I can like uh, stabilize him so he doesn't die? No, no, no. Every shot he took after he was dead down pretty much killed him because oh. he take automatic staff save. Yeah. Is there nothing left of him? Uh, no, not really. Okay, well, I guess not. Never mind then. Um... If you're independently wealthy, you could collect his body and take him back to the room. Well, I was thinking, you know, like, during this fight. <laughs> but, uh, no. Okay, so let's see. Um, I guess I will take a step over here and shoot at Sir Bradford. A little worried if that frog might do the boom. What about the frog? Oh, no, I'm just thinking out loud. Okay. I'm afraid it's a demon frog that likes brain. Okay. This is out of character, this ending game. Yeah. Okay, Tempest fires and misses. And. Shannon, you're up. Hmm. Shannon lets loose with another series of magic missiles, this time at Sherwin. Yes, you're targeting yourself too, so make sure you untarget yourself before you do. Am I targeting myself? Ah, oh, damn. All right. Sharwin is now targeted. Normal magic missiles come. Wow. Massive damage, huh? And That's I'm going to stay right wow. where I'm at. I'm 
might see that giant frog, but I do see the paladin and the other girl, so I'll come back. And I will swing my spear at Sir Brad. Wow, she's still Fox. alive and she's like critical. You could pound her on the head and knock her. I will uh, do use one of my maneuvers using distracting. Okay, and the frog is going to do a standing leap. Boing! And land right over beside Nidalak. And <clears throat> let's see. And he's going to try and bite you. And he misses. And... Sharwin is going to do... Uh, magic missiles at Nidalak. She's rolling much better than you, Shannon. <laughs> Just this time. I gave her a chance. Now, nah, kill her. <laughs> Nabbin has second thoughts. You know, it's possible that her mom might be upset at <laughs> But her mom won't care about Sir Bradford. He's dead. He should have advantage on that. Ooh. Yeah, you should have advantage on you to distract and strike to it. So you ah. do it Helps me not. He has some armor. I distracted oh, the wrong person. Yeah, he has advantage on his next attack at the moment, it looks like. And... That's uh, wrong. That's uh, you, you know, you all rescued Arky, but... Uh, I don't think you ever really told him what was going on. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> so, Sacred Flame on Charlie. I think we would have actually mentioned it at some point. No, no. no. We did not. We did not want to let the, the crazy little gnome go to. Wouldn't we have, like, we've been wandering around this place for a while, you know, wouldn't we have actually mentioned it at some point? I don't think so. Well, she's only unconscious at the moment. Alright. Yeah, she's... I mean, <laughs> I mean, use one of my sorcery points to cast do twin spell. And so I'm going to cast two firebolts. One at the frog and one at Sir Bradford. Yeah, if I use a cantrip, it's only one spell source. Yeah, cool. So I got them both targeted, and hopefully we should roll for both of them, and hopefully they hit for at least one. Hit wow! Good job, good job. Shit. Damn. And I caught, <laughs> and I look. I look at that tree to see if anything has happened. I'm pretty sure we can't hear shit because there's silence there. I mean, it's going to see if it's trying to walk. Um, no, the tree is not trying to walk. Okay. Is it doing anything else? Uh, give me a second and I will tell you. Uh, no, it's just standing there. Sir Bradford is down. Get 
those damn things off my combat tracker. All right, Tempest, uh, you still have a giant frog. Okay, I will, um, see, I'll go in here. And here, I guess that's, uh, let's see, if I, if I use my bonus action, can I go here to get, um, advantage? Yeah. And then still attack? Or is yeah. that uh, Yeah, you can. Your bonus action allows you to move an extra three feet. Like you make a double a dash act. Okay. So otherwise it would take an actual action to do it. Alright, and now I can attack it with my rapier? Sure can. And if you hit you have uh you also get your sneak attack. Okay, did I hit? Uh, let's see. That's a target. Ah, uh, yes, you did hit. Okay. Can I go somewhere? Want to spare the dying those two? See if maybe we can do something for them. What? Not what was? What was how the sneak attack worked, or there should be another thing besides where sneak attack is for each roll, damn. Uh, yeah, if you look down under your actions tab under powers, you got sneak actions and a little blood drop. Right, oh, she did her sneak action, but she didn't do her normal damage yet. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I thought I did. You rolled a 20. Okay. Alright. The frog is critical. Mm. Hop on down to one. the party. I didn't even get to use Sir Bradford and his wonderful sword. <laughs> I'll move to there. <laughs> it's my sword now. And what the hell? I'm gonna kill the frog. Or try. Here comes the magic missile. Oh yeah, he's dead. Oh yeah. He's just got magic missiles now? <laughs> he's an arcane cleric. Oh, okay. Okay, well, you have uh, the frog drops to the ground. You may want to see if we can help the girl out, maybe the guy. If they're even worse, still alive. If they're just all plant-based now, it's hard to say. The tree's still on the combat track. You guys want me to drop this? Yeah, silo? I think we need to do something about this tree. I'll uh, drop the silence spell. Okay. It's probably what he wanted to talk to us about was to tell us about the tree, which we now know nothing about except did we did the goblins tell us or did we read somewhere about the fruit? I remember you telling yes. us. Yes. Uh, so we yeah. read. Uh, we us about the fruit. Uh, yeah, uh, Bellic would grab uh, the fruit off the tree and uh, he would give it to the goblins um, and they ended up selling it and uh, Bellic Bellic would have told you that uh, the Cathias tree um, you know even though it looks dead it's very much alive and in a time long ago someone staked a vampire on that very spot and the stake took root and so grew the Gathias tree and it reverberates with primal power for those who can tap it and the twig blights actually grow from 
the seeds of the tree's fruit. And uh, he gives the fruit to the goblins with the order to disperse the seeds on the surface. But, you know, being the deceitful little creatures that they are, they barter it. But, you know, he really doesn't care because the seeds get dispersed all the same. And he's got this plan for colonizing the surface with the children of the Gathias tree. And okay. <laughs> and the tree um his relationship with the Gathias tree and so forth um and they have pretty much been infected by the tree and the tree accepted them and as such uh Bellic could control them just like the twig blights and he would have told you you cannot save them and you know if you asked him why he wanted you to stop uh, uh, you know he tells you that um, although your remains would uh, enrich the compost uh, you could serve him better uh, as his slaves and bas basically it's surrender and submit peacefully or die okay it's crazy and does the tree react now that the science is down uh no uh, the tree is uh, uh truly just a tree okay is it going to need fruit uh, no, current, currently there's no fruit hanging. Well, I'm not liking that tree. And we are out of combat. But if you all want to, uh, go ahead and attack the tree and destroy it, uh, go right ahead. Sir Bradford and Sharwin would have remained under the tree under Bellic's control until the tree dies. At which point uh, they would be, you know, they wouldn't be healed, but they would be out from underneath his control. That's what I'm right, but if they're not dead, they could be cured. We know nothing about this, though. He told us that's kind of OOC because we killed yeah, we have no idea. Bellic before he could tell us. <laughs> uh, yes, right. uh, and the, the adventure um, it, if they were still alive and you killed the tree, they would die within the next 24 hours anyway. They are Excellent. beyond repair. Okay. I'm still killing the tree, though. That's what I planned on doing, anyways. Yeah, yeah, definitely gonna kill this tree. You're like, hey, Nathan, why don't you go check out that room, like way up, way away from this tree, while we, uh, yeah, we get everything I, ready. I start launching arrows at all the people attacking the tree. <laughs> Vegan power. And I yell back. You do realize this is the tree that's been making all those twig blades and killing people. <laughs> This is the works type of vegan. It's a hippie. I think Davin's trying to take the Citadel for himself now. I'm going back to the Kobolds and cutting a deal with them so that when these guys come back up, you know, time to matter. So someone was checking out the path up there to make sure there's... Uh, where are we checking? I think someone said they wanted to check out that here to see what was up there. Uh, yeah, it, it's just more plants and shrubbery growing. Okay, yeah, so I will hit the canal the tree at the firebolt just to see what happens, see if it sets it on. I'll throw, throw in a flask of oil at it so the fire will uh, keep going. 
I'll stick a hunter's mark on them and then fire some arrows. Murderers! <laughs> okay, uh, you managed to catch the tree on fire and you know, it is uh, a tree, so it is very vulnerable to fire, and it catches burning, and, uh, you know, it touches the oil, and it really blazes up, and shortly the entire tree is just enveloped in flames. And you're standing in the smoke, though, so you turn into the new Gothias. <laughs> and, and, I, uh, and I just start looking for the signet ring on the girl unless you want to bring the body back I think we could just bring the ring we never found the brother's remains I think he got eaten he was the Gathias tree he murdered and I think someone wanted the sword that's me I claimed it okay um Yes, you do find uh, Sharwin's signet ring. And looking at the body, you realize it's probably not the best idea to drag it back to town and give it to Mom. <laughs> yeah. And the sword, Shatter Spike, is really a plus one weapon to attack and damage. And... Uh, if you hit an object, it is automatically a critical hit, and you can either <laughs> deal bludgeoning or slashing damage to the object, your choice. Furthermore, if the weapon is trying to be destroyed, it will not take any damage from anything non-magical. Awesome. I break all of Demon and Tempest stuff for killing the tree. <laughs> I trip over a rock and all of a sudden I quicken the spell and six of Scorching Rays go all over. <laughs> okay, and let's see. Searching. We probably should search down here and see if there's anything else. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, we'll search the bodies. Uh, yeah, you find uh, two antitoxins, uh, one key that goes up to uh, the locked door there at the See, library. they were carrying a cure with them all along. And uh, no, the antitoxin would not have solved them at all. Once you're infected, there's no turning back. And let me bring up the party sheet, inventory. Let's not call it infection. They evolved to a higher state of being. <laughs> okay, uh, two antitoxins, one key, uh, three potions of healing, one wand of entangle you find on Bellic. Uh, Sharwin has her spell book and the signet ring. Uh, Sir Bradford's got the sword. And okay. Okay. So, you have accomplished what you wanted to do. Or what yeah. you were sent out to do, and um, yeah, well, we'll head back to town with the, the signet runes, show the mother, and tell her what we found if that's what everyone wants to do. Uh, before you go to town, what do you want to do about the kobolds living in the citadel? I plan on just leaving them alone. Yeah, unless we have, unless we can figure out uh, an excuse to uh, to get get rid of all of them, you know. You got rid of the tree without a second thought, you monster. You shouldn't have any issue killing some kobolds. 
Well, we did make a deal with the kobolds. That's the only reason I'm saying we need an excuse. <sighs> They're kobolds. That's excuse enough. <laughs> Bro, well, I don't really plan on taking up the charter rights of these things. I'm just going to go off and, for this place. I'm just going to go off and study some more spells after we're done. So. And, and the kobolds do gar- have that dragon. We, we should not leave a bunch of kobolds and a dragon. We killed that and, thing. No, the dragon's still alive. The kobold ate the... The dragon ate the kobold pet. I thought we killed it, though. We, we knocked yeah, it unconscious, chained it up, and dragged it back. Yeah, we, we kept it from dying. You can always use it as a guard, or that thing will break out and eventually eat it as a kismet fate. Yeah. Uh, okay, and return there. That's 250 times 5. It's twelve fifty. Damn it! Yeah, I figured if anyone who's gonna take keep the keep, keep this charter of this place to keep exploring it, they can work on an arrangement with the kobolds to be guards of it. When not. Or come back with a bigger group and just wipe them up. <laughs> Okay, uh, if you're all down at the Citadel, we'll go back to town. Um, you're going to wake up in the morning and I'll be gone with all the... <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, this is so sad. I've got the... I got her father's... Sig- no. What do I have? I have Taljan's holy symbol and Sharon's break. Yeah, it's not the uh, the best outcome. And tell the mother that they killed. Her. Are we gonna bring back the bodies? No. Well, we never found his body. We're just gonna leave him on the floor. Yeah. No, Bury him. Uh-huh. I go ahead. I vote that we let Damon do. Yeah, we could. Like I said, we could take the bodies back, but they're in horrible condition. Give them a funeral, Brown. That's the best we can do. Okay. The uh, Damon uh, digs a couple of graves and starts burying the bodies and. Uh, I'd probably over. do it. I'd, I'd say we do it on the surface, though, not down here. Yeah. yeah. What country I, don't, grew up no, out of I don't think that burying them is necessarily the best idea. <laughs> they might grow. <laughs> That'd be awesome. We can have uh, Sir Bradford. I'm going to bury them now. Uh. <laughs> uh, Sir Bradford and the Sharwin tree. Well, yeah, now gonna, he doesn't have to yeah. brag about his sword anymore. Now he's just sporting wood. Oh god, that was really bad. <laughs> That's what I'll try. I'll try bearing Belak to see if he becomes a tree who can finally tell us, you know, why we should. Uh, okay. Uh, you drag the bodies up to the ground and up to the surface level and you know you give them a proper burial Dabin says a few words of vegan greatness maybe uh Shannon can say a few pairs of her body to cleanse her soul yeah good idea amen don't you do that leave them as they are Uh, okay, so you got them buried, and, you know, it takes you a day and a half to get back to town, and, you know, uh, naturally, uh, Carolyn Hakrul is, uh, disappointed and upset that you didn't find them alive, but, 
you have brought her closure. And, um... I would delicately tell her what we faced down there and what was done. Not in gross detail with her kids, but that we tried our best for them to give them a rest of peace back. I wait until I can get her alone and then tell her that Demon murdered them in court. And Erky helped. <laughs> and unfortunately, I never hit any of them. <laughs> yeah, I only attacked Sir Bradford and Balak, so. I don't even think I got Balak, so. Yeah, I didn't attack. And, you know, she uh, hands over the the salvage rights to the citadel if you all want them and you know she uh, gives you your uh, promised rewards I tell her uh, I don't need salvage rights my friends here are going to have and I'm just going to go off and study it's too sad and what happened to your children down there which would go to I'll, uh, I'll ask her if she wants this book uh this chess piece back since it is from her family the split uh yeah she will definitely take the uh spell book and the uh the holy symbol I she give her back the, uh, the symbol on the and give Navin Shatter Spike, and since we're at the end of the game, I'm just going to sell everything left in the party inventory. Yeah, go for it, I don't need any of it. And... So rich, we can just buy a new castle, we don't have to <laughs> salvage some old piece of craft with, you know. Does she want plants to growing in the basement or not? Since it was her family, or... too late. We sold it. Uh, I swear. Uh, it. Uh, Technically, it's on Net Nidalak right now. Uh, you know, she told you that you did such a. Uh, you know, she appreciates what you did, and uh, the holy symbol is enough. And you know, you can keep the armor because otherwise, it would just sit somewhere and get rusty or she would decide to sell it and she would much rather have, you know, you wear it. Okay. Especially when you're wearing it when we came back to tell her that her son was dead. <laughs> and, you know, naturally as you're all coming into town, everyone knows what you were doing and, you know, there's a little gathering at the mercantile and the mayor is there. Are you going to go into detail with him about what you encountered? Yeah, I mean, I mean, show off my sword. <laughs> Should probably tell him about the kobolds and the dragon. They may want to know about that before the dragon gets. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll tell him about that. Yeah. Uh, no problem. And he's, uh, you know, the the goblin has come to town and sold the fruits before. And, you know, there's reports of uh, twig blights around the community. So now that he knows what they're fighting, uh, he instantly gathers men and arranges for the eradication of the blights. What do people do with these fruits? Have they been eating them or what? Yeah, yeah. one of the fruits was saving people. That's what you guys destroyed. I mean, the other one kills them, but, you know, it's trade. I'll just think of it this way. Every time, I just like to think of it this way. They ate the fruit and probably pooped the seeds into the outhouse. Yeah. <laughs> Some yep. twig blades are in shit. So the mayor instantly dispatches, and, uh, you know, he looks over at Navin, and he's like, uh, since you're responsible for this great outcome, you know, they tomorrow they claim it's a uh, national Nabin Day and <laughs> The greatest day of them all. <laughs> uh, and ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the uh 
Sunless Citadel. I fade into the shadows. I just realized something. With an arrow in your back. What'd you just realize? Yeah. The perfect party to kill a dragon. We do? I would get together uh, 25 to 30 first level wizards and we would go kill a dragon in one. <laughs> okay. Everybody would shoot magic missile. <laughs> ah, that would be funny. <laughs> oh, <hands up. laughs> the dragon wins initiative and breathes fire on them and kills them all. We could all come from every direction and then he can't get us all. <laughs> I think the aura of fear might get y'all. Nah. You know what the sad thing is? I thought that tree was going to come to life. So I was saving my quickened spell <laughs> so I could cast Scorch and Ray twice. That would have been six bolts. Uh, yeah, the only thing the tree had was the uh, three effects for vulnerable, resist, and immune. No attack, no, no attack. movement, no nothing. No. That's great. I want to see what Oda did. I probably would have missed it. Sure, save all your good rolls for when the game's over. <laughs> I know. All but one. So sorry, who was giving up their characters before the next game? Who's doing something different? I think I'm going to keep this one, but I'm going to change her to a... Um, what are we doing uh, next? We're doing Dragon High Snack. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to bow the group, guys. Okay. Oh, well, that's too bad. Yeah, I'm sorry to say it, but my things kind of changed, and I don't really need to be playing on my yeah, you were going to school, weren't you? No, it's just uh, with family, trying to take care of things. Ah. But so I think you guys are really good with you on this adventure. Yeah, well, I enjoyed fun. playing. And you're welcome anytime there. Is and the next one first level or fifth level? First. First. Dragon High School is the one to five, then the uh, Mage. The maze of the mad mage goes to five to twenty. Well, I'll make a new character then for the next one. Uh, does it only go to five? Yes. Yeah. That's it. Wow. I, I think so. I I thought uh, the dungeon was um, or the dot whatever in the hell the mad mage was continuation. Yeah, that goes yeah. to twenty from level five to twenty. Uh, have any of you all seen it yet? What? I have it, but I haven't looked at it. I figured for a change, you know, I'd actually play through a game that I haven't already. Uh, yeah, uh, that thing's got like 14 levels, and they're huge maps, so. And I hear they let you, pat, you let DMs even add on to those levels, too, if they want. Yeah, i be honest, uh, I haven't even bought the book yet, um. Uh, one of the guys in my Sunday game is running it, and he's figuring probably five to six sessions per level. <laughs> probably if you're lucky. I mean, I, the original Under Mountain like was huge, the, the amount of content there was, and I think they basically just reused the law of the second edition. Like, looking at the maps, they, they look like they're kind of old school maps, too, so they they might have just, you know, basically taken them right out of the second. Uh, they probably did. Uh, Christmas Eve is on a Monday, and New Year's Eve is on a Monday. So, uh, if it's okay, uh, why don't we just pick up on January 7th? Okay. All right. That way, what was that the will we make new characters on that day, then? Uh, if you want to make them in advance, you can, um, and we can make them then as well. 
Alright. Hey, by the way, which, which version of the game are we playing? Is it uh, 5e or 4e Five. or what? 5e. 5e. Five Five e. Okay. And uh, at any given point, you all can send me a message and I can bring the server up without any problem. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going to be playing. I'm going to play this. I want to play the Shadow Sorcerer again, but if we need something else to fill up the party, I'll do that too. I'm, I'm not picky on what I do. I may still be a healer type, but I thought the bandages went pretty well, so I might just learn bandaging again as a human and be some other. That's cool. Because, I mean, honestly, I mean, the bandages seem to do pretty well. Uh, yeah, they did. And. Yeah, that's very handy. It's hard to believe it's going to be another year. <laughs> mm. Time flies. What were you thinking of playing? Oh, sorry. What were you thinking of playing, Nebin? Uh, I, again, I will probably fill out, you know, something. Um. Just to look at what classes I have, or even what ones I can do something different with. Honestly, it, it really more depends on you know if I think of an interesting concept. 